got in the car this morning and it, first it wouldn't turn over and it was a little bit rough. And uh, But then it started and then my engine, no, service engine soon light came on. And then we got on 35 and it hasn't turned off yet. So hopefully we make it down there. So we've been alerted to that there's a lot of really cool things going on down in the central district. So today we hopped in the car headed south and gonna make a couple of stops in Waco at a couple of the faith communities down there. And uh, while we're there, we thought we'd turn the camera on ourselves, sorry about that, and uh, give you a, a, maybe a little bit of a behind the scenes look of what it takes to, to make these videos. So, uh, so yeah, it, it has a big influence. What was I saying? I brought up the, and you know, when God is on the move, Ooh, you gotta uh, make sure you tie your shoes up, you know what I mean? The only thing the local church needs to give us is an extension cord because without fail we always forget to bring one. Other than that, you all just have to tell us what's happening at your church. Tell us about the great things that are happening. Tell us about the new people that are joining your church. Tell us about the new faith communities that y'all are having and how it's affecting the community and how it's affecting um, your church as a whole. And we just want to hear your stories. We want to capture them on video so that we can share them with everybody else. You know, video is, is an important medium for us. In telling stories, we can reach more people with a two minute video clip than we can uh, with a four or five page article. I mean, my attention span doesn't last longer than two paragraphs anymore, but I'll watch a two or three minute video. So we want to use these videos to promote the things happening at your church, to inspire other churches, to reach new people, and to make them disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world.